So what are we out doing this weekend? Doing a little backcountry skinning. Maybe we'll get some downhill turns. First uh, ski of the season. We're gonna, we're gonna earn these turns today. My local ski hill is not open yet. So uh, we're gonna hike to the top. Hopefully have some fantastic turns coming down. And then uh, go cook some really good food. As you can see Bob is not with me. We don't have booties for Bob yet. Uh, the snow will ball up in his feet. And I don't think he's ready for this yet. He's still only nine months old. We don't want to push him too hard. So let's get this hike done and let's start skiing down. You can see Mount Hood right there. Oh, this is gonna be a gorgeous day. Blue sky. Bluebird day, it was cold last night. Hopefully we get on this before it warms up. I believe we will. I'm gonna check out this snow. Pretty nice stuff. All right, we're just pecking our way up this hill, just enjoying life. Kind of wish the Bobby was here, but uh, we can't push the pup. Okay, I'm kind of torn. I want to get up a little bit more, which I will probably no matter what. But I want to, I kind of want to ski this little, uh, little light pitch here. Uh, because the snow is gonna get heavy because it's baking in the sun. And I like to get on it and uh, sign my name to it before uh, it gets heavy. So I might just put the skis on, ski that, Put the skins back on and head up, up higher. I don't know. What do I do? Hey, so we're at the top of the ski area, top of Cascade chairlift. I've actually got the cable turning real slow right now. Uh, but when I got here, there was a group of guys. And uh, so I'm going to give you a pro tip. I had to help one of them out. Pro tip of the day. Carry wax with you. Uh, I wish I would have shot it so you'd understand or whatever. It might make more sense what I'm saying. But he uh, started to ski down and he wouldn't move or snowboard down. He's facing straight down the hill, wouldn't move. When you peel your skins off your skis, sometimes it leaves glue or peels the wax off and the snow will stick to your, uh, your skis or your board and well, you won't move. He didn't have wax, so he was kind of stuck. His friends are gone, so pro tip, always carry wax. You can wax your skins, you can wax your skis and it might uh, make your day a little bit better if you have it. So there's the pro tip. All right, I don't know if you can see it, but. I think I'm gonna ski that. That's called Dallas Bull. I'm gonna push up a little higher. There's a group ahead of me. Looks like they're dropping in. I don't, so uh, I'll be able to see how the snow is, but I'm gonna just cut over there, push my way up another, I've got another 20 minutes of climbing probably. <laughs> All right, I got a pro tip for you. Fold your uh, skins into thirds and try to get them in the bag, it's, it's kind of tough. So I roll them. Put them in the thirds. I roll the skin. Basically. Pro tip number two for the day. Look, you still got room. Much easier to get them out. I didn't demonstrate that. It's much easier to get them in the bag if you roll them. All right, let's get these skis ready. 
Let's ski this thing. Let's talk about this bad boy. I carry this up here today because I've been skiing in this jacket since 1998 or 99. As you can see, it used to be red. I don't know if the light's picking up. Some people call it pink. I like to call it salmon. But that's a lot of years of skiing. So I'm gonna start this year out with an old friend. I retired it last year, mid-season. Oh, like having a hug from an old friend. All right, let's get ready. Three, two, one, dropping. ski I know it's late uh, my battery went dead so we didn't get to film the last little bit of the ski out and uh, rookie move I only brought one camera I forgot the second camera so I had a great day ski was good we, we got to 8,000 feet and, and we skied some wonderful snow I had some first tracks which was always nice um, stay there but stay there uh, 
it was really a good ski day. Um, but then I get back to my truck. I get back to camp. Get the camp all set up. Go to light the diesel heater. And guess what? No light. So I got on the phone to a friend. He got on the interweb. And apparently the diesel heaters do not like a lithium battery. So I need to get a lead acid battery in here, a deep cell battery, and uh, run the diesel heater on that for the winter time. I've got something new coming up in the spring, so I just got to get it through the winter. I'm really disappointed that I didn't figure that out before. Um, but yeah, we got it figured out now, hopefully. So new fuel pump coming in the mail and a new deep cell battery and that will run just the diesel heater. So we worked through that problem. Hopefully that's it. Hopefully we got it figured out. Um, so anyways, I was going to make some of these really nice venison back straps. I had mushrooms and some onions. But I'm just not in the mood. So uh, I'm going to make a mountain house. I'm going to sit in here and just chill out with Bob for a little bit. And then go sit by the fire. So... Let's have some dinner. What do you think, Bob? You tired? Oh, Bob got to play with a border collie. Went for a couple mile walk with a border collie, running, playing, wrestling. Um, so he seems to be pretty pooped out. Good boy, Bobby. All right, dinner time.